three, two, one. MDS, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. Most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is an interstellar space, the space between the stars. In the 1970s, the Voyager probes embarked on an extraordinary odyssey into space. Over 45 years, these modestly constructed probes, armed with basic equipment, have contributed invaluable data, marking them as the first human-made entities to venture into interstellar space. Voyager 1, in particular, has continually astounded NASA as it traversed millions of kilometers from Earth, unexpectedly capturing a peculiar signal. Today, we delve into a closer examination of this signal and other captivating discoveries made by Voyager 1. Let's embark on this exploration. In 2012, Voyager 1 entered interstellar space, the region beyond the effective range of our Sun and the nearest stars. Interstellar space remains shrouded in mysteries, with limited knowledge about its seemingly empty expanse. Constructed in the 1970s, Voyager 1 is a straightforward technical device equipped with basic measuring instruments, cameras, now turned off to conserve energy, and active radio wave receivers. Recently, near the probe, which is 23 billion kilometers from Earth, researchers were awakened by an unexpected occurrence. Voyager 1 transmitted sounds, revealing a faint, persistent hum. Scientists amplified the faint hum, suggesting its likely origin in gases within the interstellar medium, primarily composed of hydrogen and plasma. This revelation marked a notable moment as humans received sounds from interstellar space for the first time. Disturbances, likely influenced by solar winds, persist even in this distant region of space. The upcoming months may reveal additional data from Voyager 1 and 2. Although both probes are expected to continue their journey for thousands of years, NASA anticipates a conclusion to radio contact either this year or the next. This marks the end of a 45-year era that provided unique insights into space. The Voyager probes, pioneers in comprehensively studying and photographing outer planets, unveiling the Kuiper Belt and exploring far-reaching solar system regions, have played a significant role. Defining the solar system's end has long perplexed researchers, as streams of plasma from our star create a spherical hemisphere enveloping the entire star system through solar winds. Having initially focused on studying Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, the Voyager probes extended their exploration into previously uncharted regions. Despite enduring significant stresses during their lengthy journey, the probe's technology has flawlessly operated over the years. Experts attribute this durability to the probe's simple yet effective design, akin to the difference between an MP3 player and a tape recorder or a smartphone and a dial telephone. Researchers hope that this robust technology will persist long enough to provide Earth with data from the outer reaches of the solar system. These expectations materialized years after Voyager 1 passed the last planets. The probe transmitted data about rapidly changing magnetic fields, uncovering previously unknown aspects of how and where our Sun's influence ends. Voyager 1's location within the layers of the heliosphere was a mystery marking uncharted scientific territory for astronomers. The excitement on Earth was substantial, and each signal and movement of the probe's measuring instruments brought considerable joy. Toward the solar sphere's end, flares appeared to dominate, a dynamic interplay of billowing winds and fields varying in strength and overlapping. Weeks after the fact, researchers could measure a powerful solar flare at the solar system's edge, indicating the time it took for plasma streams to traverse the vast distance of 10 to 15 billion kilometers. These plasma streams, moving at around 1,000 kilometers per second, are notably slower than light. While a typical plasma stream from the Sun reaches Earth in one to two days, Voyager's data shed light on captivating particle flows, solar winds, and the reception of radio waves from flares distant from the Sun at the outermost edge of the heliosphere, the Sun's relatively warm and less dense plasma clouds encounter cooler and denser interstellar plasma, shaping and compressing the heliosphere. 
Voyager's measurements disclosed denser flows just before the probe made its definitive entry into interstellar space. Contrary to a static solar system, our system, propelled by the Sun and its planets, moves through the interstellar medium at a velocity of approximately 84,000 km per hour. Voyager's measurements at the heliosphere's edge validated these figures, providing the first tangible evidence of the solar system's synchronized journey with the small probe. As Voyager transitioned into interstellar space, its flight behavior underwent unexpected transformations, unveiling the secrets concealed within this expansive cosmic realm. The immense space between stars and star systems, extending 40 trillion kilometers from the solar system's boundary, the heliopause, to the closest star, Alpha Centauri, remains largely uncharted. Far from being a void, interstellar space hosts gases, particles, light beams, and the elusive dark matter, transforming it into the cosmic crucible or the very essence of space itself. Until the early 20th century, researchers believed the space containing our universe was void, with stars and planets suspended within it. Albert Einstein and contemporaries revolutionized this notion, revealing the dynamic nature of the entire universe. Objects within it are in constant motion and subject to change. Interstellar space likely hosts previously undiscovered forms of matter, along with structures and filaments guiding the known elements of the universe. Where are the Voyager probes heading? These probes, equipped with long-lasting plutonium batteries, face limits. Many instruments and cameras were deactivated post-heliopause passage to conserve energy. Communication persists over vast distances through standard radio waves, with a signal taking approximately 23 hours to reach Earth. As mentioned earlier, radio contact with Voyager 1 is anticipated to cease at some point this year. However, both the probe and its interstellar companion will continue their cosmic journey. Voyager 1 has covered approximately 129 astronomical units so far. With the future distances, it will traverse remaining uncertain. The probe holds the potential to navigate the cosmos for centuries or even millennia. According to current projections, Voyager 1 is expected to reach the star AC plus 793-888 in the Little Bear constellation in 38,000 years. Given the estimated distance of 1.7 light years, it's unlikely the probe will be captured by the star system. Instead, it will persist in its trajectory until influenced by gravitational forces. There's a possibility that Voyager could enter a distant star system advancing along gravitational attraction paths toward the star. Potential outcomes include the probe burning up in a star, colliding with an asteroid, or encountering extraterrestrial civilization. In preparation for such scenarios, both Voyager probes carry messages from Earth. Each probe is equipped with a golden record containing music, everyday life scenes, noises, and information about Earth and humanity. To aid extraterrestrials in playing the records correctly, an instruction manual with easily understandable pictograms is also included. Experts predict that the golden disks have a durability spanning several billion years, making it plausible that the messages may eventually be received. Whether humanity endures until then, and if a recipient civilization can respond, remains unknown. After over 45 years, the Voyager missions are gradually nearing their conclusion. While the probes continue their trajectory, our ability to monitor their journey diminishes. NASA scientists celebrate the remarkable success, but also experience a sense of parting. Many technicians, researchers and specialists involved in the project have dedicated almost half their lives to the Voyager missions. However, the vast expanse of space promises numerous captivating mission opportunities ensuring that astrophysicists and NASA experts won't find themselves lacking in exciting pursuits. The conclusion of the Voyager missions marks a bittersweet moment for NASA. The devoted individuals who invested decades in these endeavors now face a transition. While there is a tinge of farewell, the scientific community anticipates a future filled with new and captivating mission destinations. 
the cosmic landscape beckons with unexplored realms and unanswered questions, ensuring that astrophysicists and NASA experts will not encounter a shortage of intellectually stimulating challenges. As the probes venture onward, their legacy persists not only in the data they have transmitted, but in the inspiration they've ignited. The wealth of knowledge gathered from Jupiter, Saturn and beyond has expanded our understanding of the cosmos. While the ongoing trajectory of Voyager 1 and its companion probe fades from our observation, the imprint of their journey remains indelible in the annals of space exploration. Looking ahead, the quest for exploration will undoubtedly continue, driven by the insatiable curiosity that propels humanity beyond the bounds of familiarity. The potential discovery of extraterrestrial life, the unravelling of cosmic mysteries, and the advancement of our understanding of the universe await future missions. The legacy of Voyager extends beyond the physical probes, serving as a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the ceaseless pursuit of knowledge in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Now we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section. What are your insights on the enigmatic radio waves detected by Voyager in interstellar space? Do you foresee humans delving into the interstellar medium in the near future? And what intriguing discoveries might await us there? Feel free to express your ideas and reflections below.